back on the dirt. I've discovered that I've got this thing in here. Whoa! And then we go to rocks, and then we're on the side of a cliff. Yeah, it's all happening. Okay, good morning everyone. Um, it's the 1st of June. That is uh, the first day of winter here in, uh, here in Sydney, in Australia, if you're watching from overseas, as I know some of you are. Um, it's, uh, it's 8 degrees and well, this isn't too bad for the first day of winter, I don't think. I'll take it any day. Uh, this morning I'm heading out um, back up into Wollamai National Park. I haven't been on the dirt now for um, for a couple of weeks and I just uh, yeah, really need to get into the bush and go for a bit of a squirt on the dirt. So uh, stick around, I hope you enjoy it. I'm thoroughly going to enjoy getting back on the dirt. So uh, yeah, let's go get it. Ah, gravel road. Back on the dirt. Oh, the four-wheel drivers are in here already. Oh, that was, uh, they were like civil engineers and stuff and uh, they had pictures of graders and that sort of thing on the size of their, side of their vehicle, so. They might be scoping the road out to do a bit of work on it. Because uh, the corrugations haven't uh, improved at all, but that's alright. Okay, so down through here now, this goes over the beautiful Weenie Creek. This is the wonderful Weenie Creek, which is only just a trickle today. We've had basically no rain at all for a fair while now um, and it's very dry around the place but oh no it's running all right it's not too bad all right we'll keep going up this hill can't see what else we can see side of the road brother dear oh dear oh dear he is gonna get killed doing that ah, never mind I missed him all right so this is the road to uh, Mountain Lagoon it's only eight kilometers uh, Bilpin is 27 where this road comes out so um, I think I'll follow this all the way through to Bilpin um, and uh, 
we'll see what it turns out like I've never actually ridden from Mountain Lagoon through to Bilpin so that'll be something new uh, and uh, I've only ever ridden this road here Mountain Lagoon Trail it's called um, I think in about the second week I bought the bike certainly never uh, ridden it and filmed it but anyway so I don't actually remember a lot of it so um, won't be uh, going too quick through here because I don't know it but from what I do remember it was quite nice down <clears throat> let's try and cut around it shall we instead of running straight into it I must admit I um one thing I do remember about riding like through here and on the gravel in general in sort of the first couple of weeks I got back on the bike after a 25 year absent was absence was uh, completely shitting myself I don't necessarily feel that way now um, I think it was just the fact that the bike moves around on the gravel so much I'd kind of forgotten what that was like and I was trying to fight it all the time and now that I've um, I can sort of just relax and let the bike find its own way a bit um, I enjoy it a lot more now it's been almost a year so got used to it again now a bit more but yeah the first uh, first couple of weeks I got on the dirt especially you know on this bike which isn't really a dirt bike fucking terrified thought oh, Jesus have I done the right thing here uh, it turned out that I had and uh, I love it now and wouldn't go back but it's interesting how uh, how it's changed over the past year This really is an excellent road to ride. Not all um, corrugated and chewed up like the other one. I suppose this one doesn't get the use that the main road through the National Park does. People in four wheel drive fanging through all the time. And there's a four wheel drive trail up in there. You can tell it's a four wheel drive trail because there's um, a yellow sign that says this area is under surveillance and stay out, which is complete bullshit. It is friggin' not. Oh, this is nice in here. Bit of rainforest and stuff. Oh, I don't know if you could call it rainforest, but yeah, this is very pleasant. You won't be able to hear the birds. I can just hear them. They're singing away. I think I do remember this bit through here. Um... If I'm honest, because uh, I think we're getting close to uh, the actual suburb of Mountain Lagoon now, if you can call it a suburb. There is actually a big lagoon in the middle of it, uh, but it's been so dry that I doubt it'll have any water in it. And I don't think you can get in there to see it anyway. But, um, there is a creek down in there. I think there's a oops. I think there's a walking trail that goes down into that. I just can't see around these corners here. Um, yeah, so I think I saw on the map when I was looking at coming in here today that there's a um, Yeah, there's a walking track that goes down in there. That was a bit rough Ah, so I think uh, yeah, look at that. There's walking trails and stuff down in there. There's an old car buried down in there So this is Mountain Lagoon I'll do a lap of um, the road that actually goes around Mountain Lagoon. The lagoon's over there in the on the right-hand side somewhere. I will indeed slow down and not um, throw dust up all through here because you know this this is where people live. Um, yeah, so Mountain Lagoon's down in there somewhere, and this this road does a loop all the way around it. So 
I'll um, I'll do the loop all the way around it. It's a shame it's um, I'm just a little bit too late for the um, for the autumn leaves and and stuff. They've all fallen off the the trees there. But yeah, it's very very nice in here. Ah, oh, wow, this is great. The size of some of those gum trees. Jeez. I don't actually recall this at all. I know I've ridden through here before, but it was, like I said, a year ago, and I just don't remember it at all. But um, ah, this is great. It's like, a, like the first time I've been here. <laughs> yeah, so this is where the road goes off around um, the other side of the lagoon. So yeah, Sam's way. Right, we'll go down here without uh, slipping on all that deep gravel. We might go to that um, walking track and boil the cupper in. Sorry, boil the uh, boil the kettle in there. Wow, it must be so great to live in here. Sam's way. The sign there explaining um, who named it and that sort of stuff. I think if I was here two weeks earlier, all of these trees would have been beautiful. They're all like liquid amber trees. I'm just a bit too late now. Oh man, I could live in here so easily. This is just gorgeous. There's some unprocessed beef, nice. Oh, there's a uh, bobcat. I wonder can he see me? I doubt it. Oh, there's a doggo! There's two doggos! Oh dear, oh dear, hello doggos! <laughs> hello! Oh, that one bit my boot. <laughs> G'day mate! Alright! Yeah, alright, no worries! <laughs> oh gee, that guy, guy's dogs are chasing me the whole way and he's Desperately trying to call them back. I think they've gone back. <laughs> that little one bit me on the boot, little bugger. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well, that's all right. All right. Um. Yeah. So, Mountain Lagoon. Here we are. That's the actual lagoon in there. Um, dry as a bone. In fact, completely dry as a bone. Yeah, not a not a drop of water in there. Um, what's this? Is this Wallamai Wilderness Cabin walking tracks? Ah, oh, area closed. Hazard reduction burn from the 27th of April to the 18th of May. Ah, oh, today's the first of June. Don't even know what day of the bloody week it is. Oh, what uh, what month it is? All right, that's okay. Oops, so it's not slide off the side of the road. So that's all of my cabins up in there. Let's go up in here and see what's up in here, right? Eh? Apparently there's walking tracks and all that sort of stuff up in here. So I presume there's a car park and stuff where you can go. Either that or I'm going to wind up in someone's house. Man, that is beautiful down in there. Can't see it because it's on the other side of the camera, but that is really nice. Hey, this is cool in here. This is a great track. Might just um, follow this. Is, uh, geez, I don't think I'll go down there. That looked like it stepped off the side of the mountain. So we better not go down in there. Uh, so Colo Maru, nine kilometres. Uh, Gospels Ridge Fire Trail, and this is Tudy Creek Walking Track. And gates open. So I'll go a bit further. Ah, oh, well, this is great. This um, 
turned out to be more of an adventure than I thought. I didn't um, think I'd be... Whoa! <coughs> more concentration uh, on the sand, I think. Nearly got spewed off. Um, I didn't think I'd be able to get down in here, but um, you obviously can. Oh, someone's been down here fanging it. Keep an eye out for them. Oh, that sand is so deep. I nearly, uh, nearly went down back there. Who am I kidding? There's nowhere near down. Oh, I nearly got bogged in the sand again. Oh, look at that huge tree that snapped off there. That's the wind that's done that. It's broken it clean off. And down she goes. Uh, so I've just stopped here on the side of the track for a sec. I could hear um, something rattling around and something didn't sort of feel quite right. Um, and I've discovered that I've got this thing in here. Uh, so we might just take that out, I think. I don't think we need that in there. Um, really, really nice in here. Um, just absolutely beautiful, really. Um, the road is down in there somewhere so I'm just going to keep following it until I um, until I can't go any further this is really cool all right sorry yeah uh, sorry for the weird cut there um, my GoPro battery went flat and I had a stick as you can see um, stuck in the bottom of the bike so I had to sort of stop and get that out anyway we'll head down keep heading down this very adventure track oh look at that sand um, in this very picturesque area Jeez, it's like riding through a riverbed just here. Whoa. And then we go to rocks, and then we're on the side of a cliff. Yeah, it's all happening. I have no idea where this um, road slash trail slash track is actually gonna take me. Like I've got no idea where it goes. Um, I couldn't sort of, oh that's rugged as. I couldn't sort of see it on the map at all. Google Maps doesn't show that there's even a track here. Um, thought it would just it would have turned into just sort of a walking track by now and, well maybe this is actually the walking track it's just that the gates open I don't know maybe I'm on a fire trail I still don't know anyway I might just keep plodding along oh dear that's quite uppity this uh, trail is gonna get a bit much for this bike soon I think so if I pull the pin that'll be why yeah that's quite uh, that's, uh, that's quite a thing coming up there but that was all right it's not actually the, the like the tires or, or anything like that on this bike that bother me in areas like that it's it's the ground clearance and the lack of suspension travel ground clearance maybe uh, mostly sorry because oh Jesus um, because I have I, I don't have a bash plate um, it's on the list but they aren't cheap and not many people make them for this bike because obviously not many people do this sort of rubbish on them uh, so I do need to get a bash plate but I have to just be really careful in areas like this that I don't uh, hit the sump because it's uh, it is quite low but wow so great in here I just wish I knew where the hell I was. I might just run straight over that. I have no idea where I am. Absolutely no idea. That's all right. It's just a single road. I haven't turned off it anywhere, so. 
single road that oh jesus used to be a oh, let me just have a look at this no, it's all right used to be a um a creek no, it didn't but you know Oh, look at this. This is like a creek. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, right. I've got the training wheels out now. Oh. Oh. Whoa. All right, through. Good. Just a bit more. So much sand. Oh, I'm just back to first gear now because if I hit this sand at any speed, I'm going to go down like a sack. Well, that's a mighty big hill. That is mighty, mighty straight up. Let's see if we can just get up here. Shit. Oh. Yeah, nearly got bogged in the sand there. Um, I've been riding for quite a while in here now and there's no sign that this road is going to end anytime soon or that it's actually going to go anywhere. I just got this feeling that like I'm close to... Oh shit, hang on, I've got to get through this sand. I'm close to this road turning out like at another road somewhere because I'm, I'm sort of heading in generally in a northerly direction roughly um, I think yeah I am um, and like I, I just think it has to come out somewhere but yeah, I don't know now what happens down there it just goes down this hill all right uh, just let me have a look yeah, all right, we might just go down this side. Just come to a bit of a, a clearing just here. Ah, oh, here we go. Tootie Creek Colo River Junction, three hours return. Okay, so that's the walking track. Um, and what does this say? T3 track, please show me uh, some. Oh, that's Bob Turner's track. I've been there before. Okay, I've made it to the end. Oh, that's great. All right. Um, T3 track. So I've made it to the head of the walking track, which goes down to Tootie Creek and then around to um, you can follow I think the river around to Bob Turner's track and then which comes out eventually at the Putty Road but um, this is the end of the line for me oh, I'm really glad I found the end I was beginning to think I'd never get here and the road um, was getting a bit too much for me back there with the deep sand and stuff but I am now going to stop here boil the kettle because I am really in the middle of nowhere have a cuppa and a sit take some pickies um, and I think that'll do for the time being, and then I'll um, I'll ride out of here and back to um, uh, back to Mount Lagoon and out to Bilpin. Okay, I'll uh, talk to you soon. So this is um, where the road has kind of finished. I've just found a little posse here where I can actually see the view out through the trees. Um, really really stoked to find the end of this track um, <clears throat> for a while there I wasn't sure exactly where I was going or where I was going to wind up but I'm really pleased to have found the end of it don't know why I like finding the end of roads I just do um, and so this is now the T3 track which goes down to the Colo River this is like where it starts um, so that's uh, there that, that's where I've wound up that's um 
just where I've parked the bike and stuff down there. I'm just going to have a, a cuppa here now and uh, ride the track back out. All right, so there's me um, kettle happily boiling away there on a nice flat rock in the middle of the bush in the middle of nowhere. I just can't tell you how good it is to, to come to somewhere like this, be the only person here. It is just so good, and I'm so glad I found the end of this track, which you know I might have said once or twice. Because um, I was going to turn back there a couple of times in that deep sand and stuff, and I'm glad I didn't now. This is just brilliant in here. I just love it. Anyway, I'll stop crapping on and warm up with a cup of coffee, um, and then I'll, I'll do the ride out. All right, well there we go. That is the head of the uh, T3 track. Um, just not get bogged in this uh, sand here. And it is just beautiful in there. Um, I'll chuck a couple of pickies up. Um, whoops, as I ride back out of here, of the view um, down into the gorge of where the river and stuff is. Just pick a path up here. Oh, God. Um, all right, time to slow down here. Uh, this is very, oh, that was very close to being down. Hang on, let me just get through this. Yeah, I've got to unfortunately have the training wheels out there. Oh, all right, back down this steep hill. Okay, so I am now just going to ride out of here um, in a very ungainly fashion, mostly like that. Um, back to Mountain Lagoon. I'll um, I'll pick the vid up again at Mountain Lagoon um, because you've um, seen the ride in and it's mostly going to be like that, riding out. Alright, I'm back, uh, well almost back out at uh, Mountain Lagoon now. I just had to uh, stop there and get another tree branch, or not a tree branch, but a large stick that was um, caught under the under the bike again. It wedged itself under the... <laughs> Well, that's very good down in there, but that's not for me. Uh, it wedged itself between the exhaust pipe and kind of the gear shifter and was actually smoking. And I was like, oh, geez, seriously. So we've had a bit of everything. That is a great place down in there, man. Jeez. All right, so dear, we're back at Mountain Lagoon now. It's funny, you know, it doesn't seem like it took me any time at all to come out. And it seems like it took me ages to... Uh, to go in uh, I think that's just the nature of things it always takes a longer time to go somewhere than it does to come back especially when you're on a sketchy road and uh, you're unsure about what you're doing by yourself in the middle of nowhere almost falling off every five seconds anyway uh, now where the hell am I going here oh that's somebody's property up there I think uh, yeah that's that mountain retreat place all right okay um, so Man, that was, oh yeah, wall of my log cabins. Man, that was a friggin' awesome ride through there. I just love that. Oh, look at that gorgeous place. Wow. Oops, shit. Looking at the scenery, not where I'm going. Um, yeah, that was a fantastic ride through there. So, really enjoyed it. I'm now going to uh, head out of here again um oh, look at that i'm just gonna pull in here and show you this house look at that place little house on the prairie or what wow man i could live there in three seconds flat wow oh, the doggo's barking at me in the window sorry i'll keep going oh that is beautiful man this place is awesome oh i certainly didn't appreciate it the first time i rode through here i'll tell you that there's all the beehives in there didn't sort of see those before that's good all right now the, this heads out now um to bilpin i've never ridden out here before now to bilpin so gravilia gardens yeah i'll bet it is too that's um up there to the left, that's the track that uh, that we came in on. That's um, yeah, that's the road we came in on. Um, and so now I'll just follow this out to Bilpin. Um, where I'll probably call it quits from there. But there's some uh, 
nice riding to do between here and Bilpin because it's a little way. So that's where we turned down before to do the loop of um, Mountain Lagoon. Ah, now I'm going to get covered in dust. I might just let this car get away, I think. Um, otherwise, the camera will be covered in dust and you won't be able to see a thing. So, I have never ever ridden this part of road, this part of the road before, out to Bilbon. So this will be good, something new. So let's go. That's the end of the dirt for today. Next 14 kilometers is uh, Kangaroochee Walla Foxes. Let's keep an eye out for them, although it's probably too late in the day now. Well, um, this is now just tar all the way through to, uh, to Bilpin. So um, I might just call this video here, I think. I had a freaking ball this morning riding that track and finding the end of it. I really, really enjoyed it. For me, that's kind of what like um, being out and, and adventuring is all about. Never been there before, had no idea what it was, wasn't sure if I was going to get through. Can I make it? Can I not? Should I turn around? Should I keep going? But I persevered and I found the end and it was really well worth it. So I'm really, really happy with that. Um, I hope you enjoyed it because um, obviously I did. I'm crapping on like a schoolgirl at a boy band concert. What? Anyway, um, so wow, that's a big dream. So, yeah, all right, thank you very much for coming along. Uh, I had a ball, I had a great time. Um, I'm now just gonna take this road here out to Bilbin, ride home, see what the fan bam's up to, um, and then I think I'm going to do a um, art project with my son for school. So I think I've covered a number of bases today. All right, that's it, pulling the pin. Thanks very much for coming along. If you ride, ride safe. And I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.